Well, good morning. Um, on what is day three in the lakes. Day one, it's rained all day. Day two was, was better, um, but because of what we were doing, because this is a holiday really, um, I didn't get that much opportunity to come out and do anything. But I did, I did stop at a lake, which is just behind me, called Rydell Water, which was absolutely beautiful last night. So. Uh, I did manage to take a couple of um, stills on the lake, which I'll put up at some point during the video. I hope those are okay. <coughs> so it's the final day. I've got up early, it's just gone seven o'clock. The sun is just trying to come up, but it's quite cloudy. And I'm just, I've come back to Rydal water. Uh, and I'm just taking a path that leads up a little river. Um, just to see what it's about really, just in a couple of hours I've got before breakfast. I'll just show you around this because it's absolutely beautiful here. This river is absolutely perfect, uh, perfect dipper country. So that's one of the things I've come to look for this morning. And just I've come down just to stand at the river's edge, and lo and behold, a dipper has just gone straight past me. So they are about. Um, the river's very flooded at the moment, though, quite high. But um, so I'm hopeful. I've seen one already, but not able to photograph. So. Uh, I'll keep persevering with that. That's one of my targets for this morning. I'm like any promises, but you never know. I'll show you where I am at the moment and what I'm doing. Um, 
there's a patch just ahead of me about 50 yards of some shallow fast, ru fast running water and um, I'm just giving it, I've got, oh sorry, is it? Okay, I've probably got just less than an hour. I've just had a dip of come down. I managed to get a couple of shots. What I didn't do was check my camera settings. I can't believe <coughs> I've done this. It's such a basic error. Last night I was shooting at the lake and I was in a two second timer mode uh, on the tripod. And uh, um, I shot this dip adjustment, of course it was two second delay. So I'm going to wait it out here now. I've got my camera settings right now. I'm hoping it's going to be back. I'll show you where I am. I'm actually lying as flat as I can get next to the river. I'm cold, wet, damp, uncomfortable rocks. And it's worth every agonising, uncomfortable, damp spot. I've got a couple of pictures, I hope they're okay. I'm just praying in the next 30 to 40 minutes it comes back. Well, this place has turned out better than thought actually. Um, I just had a grey wagtail, I think it was. My, my, <laughs> my problem is, is my eye size. Close up, looking at the back of the camera. I've got my glasses with me, but my glasses, well, I can't hold the camera far enough away while I'm lying here for my glasses to be able to focus on the back of it. Um, <laughs> so I'll just keep my fingers crossed. And then, I've just had two other photographers turn up to do a, some sort of shot of the river. I'm standing right next to where. The, uh, my, my target area is unbelievable. Anyway, they've gone there. So I'm going to give us a little bit longer and see if anything else turns up worth. I'm hoping the dip will come back also. <coughs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go. I'm running out of time. Uh, those guys are still over there anyway. I keep seeing them occasionally, so nothing's going to come back now, I don't think. Um, what can I say? I've been here um, probably less than an hour, and I've seen a dipper and a grey wagtail. More than I could have expected. Um, I need. Uh, <laughs> if I'd have thought about it, I would have just come here straight away this morning and just stayed in one position but of course um, I wanted to have a walk around. I've never been here before so uh, I had a walk up down the river um, but this was a great spot um, and it's it's worked this morning for me I hope uh, as I said earlier I'm, I'm having trouble with um, looking at the back of the camera but I, I think I've got one of the chipper a uh, couple of the grey wagtail if they're successful, I'll put them up for you. Uh, if you haven't seen them by the end of the video, they were shocking. <laughs> anyway, I've had an absolute blast. It was worth getting up at six o'clock this morning, lying in the damp, cold, uncomfortable lakeside country. Lakeside country? It's not even a lake. Riverside. And it was worth, but anyway, it's been worth getting up at six o'clock, coming out here just for a couple of hours, 
lying on the damp, wet, uncomfortable rocks next to this stunning river. Absolutely stunning. There are no other words for it. I love places like this. And I've been rewarded with sightings of a dipper and a grey white tail. It's a perfect day. I'm now going back for some hotel breakfast because I do like my hotel breakfast as you can probably tell <clears throat> and then it's back home and back to the drudgery and grind of daily life and I'm going to try and get up <clears throat> this could be awkward I started this 20 years ago. It would have been much more easy. Ow. <laughs> well, oh my God. <laughs> this place. I've just, I've just come to walk across this bridge. On the way home, near the car park, and I can hear something I don't recognise. And I was just going to set up and do a shot of me walking over the bridge and literally sitting on a branch over the river about, I don't know, 20 yards away it's a dipper <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think I've got a couple of shots of it before it flew off I was going to take some video and then when I, I, by the time I got the video sorted it had gone but oh my god I, I, <laughs> I'm absolutely speechless absolutely lost for words this place just keeps giving and giving. Well, I I'm going to go home now because I'm happy. I'm, ha I'm happy as, as uh, um, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. I'm just happy, rewarded. And it just shows you though, um, you can spend hours lying in the damp, rain, uncomfortable riverside for a glimpse and then you can walk over a bridge on the way to the car park and get a, the best view I've had of a dipper in my life and I, I just I'm lost for words but oh, fantastic oh fantastic brilliant I'm going now I've got to go I'm quite emotional <laughs> Wow, right, okay. All right, let's call it a day before oh, I get too sad because I've got to go home and I've got to go back to work. Um. So, wow, thank you, thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I hope you stayed till the end because um, that was just the highlights of the morning on the walk home to the car park. So, if you have, thank you so much. If you're a subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart again. It means a world to me. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up, the little bell thing to uh, you get a notification when I put videos out and um, I will see you in the next vid I don't know where I don't know when but coming soon so keep well and I'll see you soon bye bye